Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Concept Layer. In today's class, we will discuss about transport layer security. What is transport layer? In OSI model, transport layer is the fourth layer. The main role of the transport layer is to provide the communication services directly to the application layer. Okay, here the transport layer provides the a logical communication between application processes and and running different hosts. Okay, that is the main aim of the transport layer. Okay, here what is meaning of transport layer security? A transport layer security is nothing but providing security providing security communication between web browsers as well as the servers on the internet. That is called transport layer security. Okay, here transport layer security is needed to providing security in transport layer okay for example when data is traveling from transport layer to the next layer we need to provide a security for that data okay here when when data is transferring when data is transporting transporting layer to next layer we need need security for that data okay. here the transport layer security is derived from SSL it is derived from the secure socket layer okay that is called SSL okay it provides the secure connection between client and server that means there is a no third party okay there is no third party or hacker will be involved okay here what is the transport layer security means it provides the security connection between client and server there is no third party will be involved between client and server it is used by http protocol smtp protocol simple it is used by http protocol and smtp protocol what is meaning of HTTP protocol means hypertext transport protocol and SSP means simple mail transport transfer protocol. Okay, it is used by HTTP protocol and SMTP protocol. SMTP protocol HTTP means hypertext transfer protocol and SMTP means simple mail transfer protocol. By using these two, we can provide the transport layer security okay how it will be works it uses by a client and server handshaking mechanism first we have to establish connection between client and server then both will be exchanging the key from client and server once the key is exchanged is successful after that tls protocol will open an encryption channel by using rc4 algorithm or idea or ds algorithm it is also ensures that a messages are not altered. It can be done by one of the hand, one of the hashing algorithm like MD5 and SHA algorithm. RFC 220, sorry, RFC 20, is the similar to SSLV3 version. Okay, here what is the working procedure? We will see in steps here. First step, it, is, it uses Client and server handshake mechanism. Okay, it means here both client and server both will be has to interact. Okay, that means handshaking between 
and checking between client and server okay first here both first both have to first both have to establish the connection after that only key has to be exchanged okay first we have to establish connection between client and server for key exchange for key exchange between client and server once the key is exchanged successfully after that tls protocol will be open for encryption channel okay once the key exchange successful after the tls protocol will open encryption algorithm by using rc4 algorithm or idea algorithm or rsc sorry or des algorithm okay by using these three algorithms we will get the encryption we will put the security here it is also ensures that the messages will be not altered okay also ensures that messages are not altered okay it can done by any one of the hash program hash algorithm hash algorithm like md5 algorithm or sha algorithm okay this is about the transport layer security okay if you have any doubts please ask me in comment section thank you everyone